This is your opportunity. This is your moment. YBR Radio. What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, E.T., and welcome to another edition of YPR. Man, guys, excited as always to be here. So I'm excited today to have with me uh, Jeff in the building. Talk to me, man. How you doing? What's up, man? I'm excited. You know, sick. First time being in Verve Central. Uh, seen it in a lot of videos. So it's, yeah. it's an honor to be here, privilege to be here. And, man, I'm just excited to spend some time with you talking about what's going on. Kind of, you know, I want to freestyle if you don't mind. Let's kind of just start with, you know, one of my favorite questions is before Verve. Like, you know, what were you doing before that? I know you're still, you know, fairly young. 24, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. Uh, so before 24, you know, before you became a part of this organization, like what was your life like? What were you pursuing? Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I kind of had one of those, you know, I wasn't the smartest kid in, in school. Um, that ba- makes two of us. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, made it through high school but wasn't top of the class and, uh, and went to college for a year and ended up dropping out, you know, mm-hmm. and I don't encourage anyone to do that. Absolutely. It just wasn't my thing. Absolutely. And, uh, and I started pursuing, you know, making money. And I found myself in the restaurant industry, you know, working crappy jobs for, for a little bit of money. And I had this genius idea that I was tired of working for myself. I wanted to work, you know, I mean, tired of working for other people, want to work for myself. Think, yeah. And I was trying to think of what I could do with no skill, no experience. And I thought, man, I used to cut my dad's grass you know, how hard could it be to start a landscaping company? And and so at like 18 years old, I decided to to go ahead and start a landscaping company and had some success with that. But we all know the economy kind of took a rough turn. Absolutely. And then I found myself- people don't want their grass cut anymore. Yeah, yeah, they don't have the money for that. (laughs) So so before, before, you know, Vima, I was kind of trying to be my own boss, you know, trying to find a way. I knew I I wanted to make a lot of money, just didn't know how I was going to do it. So you found this opportunity. Was it through, you know, like, Social media, was there an individual that approached you? Like, what, what kind of happened for yeah, you? Yeah, it was actually through my best friend, um, Richard Bischoff. And, and the crazy thing is, is, ah, is he Richard. was a, yeah. <laughs> so uh, he was a personal trainer, and, and I came to him uh, in desperation. I was 310 pounds. Wow. And, and I came to him and I said, Bro, I need your help. You know, I need to get my life around. I need to get in shape. And so he started training me. And uh, at the end of our training session, he said, Man, you need a supplement. And I'm from the South. And so supplementing to me was like fried chicken from absolutely. Bojangles or fried chicken from Chick-fil-A. Oh, as- absolutely. And, and so I never heard of supplementing. With biscuits and gravy. Exactly. Absolutely. And, and so he, he immediately handed me a Verve, and I was like, man, this stuff is good. And I was like, you know, I, I've seen some stuff on, on mm-hmm. your Facebook. I, I've kind of seen what you're doing. You know, tell me more about it. And it was an instant, you know, I just said, man, this is my opportunity to really take you know, what I've been looking for and make things happen. So, you know, he's the one who introduced it to me. But uh, So we, we talked about your story. Your story, you know, it's different because most people either don't do well and they persist and eventually they get, you know, to a place of success. Um, but your story is, is, is really unique. Uh, actually, it's the first time I've heard it since, you know, we've been doing YPR. Can you kind of... For the, for the listening audience, can you just kind of give yeah. them a little backdrop? My, my story is pretty crazy. You know, I started out uh, first night, ordered my product, had no knowledge of the business, no knowledge of the product. I'm 310 pounds pushing a nutritional supplement. Right. It just uh, doesn't make a whole lot of uh, sense. <laughs> and, and I enrolled six people in my first night and 21 people in my first month. Wow. And, and I was off to the races, man. I hit diamond in less than 90 days, and I was on top of the world, hit platinum in five months. And, and the, the key about this whole YPR movement is that leadership development, becoming a leader, right. and that's the thing that I never did. Right. And I was an enrollment machine, and if you don't teach duplication, and basically, you know, I went from, from platinum back to bronze. Wow. All right, so quickly, we talk about uh, helping other people and why that's so important, um, building other people, building your, your company, building your brand. Um, I think you've got a couple uh, people. Well, the first one, Jason, your brother, uh, is on the line. And I'm going to – Jason, are you there? Yes, sir. It's your boy, Jay. I made it on Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay, I was just going to say, I had an opportunity to see the video, and I'm nervous because it looks like you're about to take my spot out here in this game. The energy, the passion. It's your boy, Jay. I got a little nervous when I heard it. So we're going to have to partner up, man. How you doing today? I'm doing great, sir. Yeah, I mean, I'm always watching your videos and definitely a lot of excitement. And, you know, I joke around with Jeffrey doing that all the time. And so I figured I had to bring – the energy on the air today, but I'm doing great. I'm doing great. But real quick, before your brother jumps in, how did this become a family affair? 
Oh man, well, uh, you know, my story is a little bit, a little bit different. Um, you know, I actually, you know, to keep it short, Jeffrey came home excited, like he said, three, you know, almost three years ago, and and was telling me about the opportunity. And uh, you know, I'll be real, DDT, I, I didn't, I didn't believe in it. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he was all excited at the time. I was a student getting my business degree. You know, he he didn't finish college, and I, and I had this whole mindset of, of get the degree, get the job, be okay. And, and so I, I blew it off for about two and a half years. And uh, when I graduated with the degree, with the honors and all that, and really couldn't find the job I was looking for serving tables, I said, man, I got to give this thing a shot. So I started, you know, I focused my attention, uh, and I had my change of mindset about six months ago is when I really started this journey with Jeffrey, and, uh, and it's been nothing but incredible since then. Thanks for your time, man. We'll see you soon. See you, Jay. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. All right. Real quick, we got to go to the next one, and the next one is... We got Bilal Malik on the phone. Bilal, did you make it? Bilal Malik, you got to make it. I couldn't hardly say your name, guy. You got to be there. Like, it, I practiced. It took me... All right, there you go, baby. It, just, it took a minute. I'm like, I know I didn't waste all this time and energy enunciating this correctly, and you're not there. How's it going, Doc? You know, I may have been, I may have been a little hesitant because Jason came in with that amazing intro. So yeah, he I'm sitting back here like, what am I going to say? You know, he did. He did. But your energy, I feel it. Your passion, I feel it. Where are you these days? Um, I'm in Columbia, South Carolina, at the University of South Carolina for Go Gamecocks. Okay, good. So we got that whole southern region, the, ch the chicken, fried chicken, yeah. and biscuits, and gravy. We got that whole southern thing going on. And you are diamond. You are like diamond shining bright like a diamond. You're doing big things. Talk to us, man. How did this all come about? Yes, sir. Actually, I was brought this opportunity by my best friend. And we always talk about your, your, your close relationships building this business. And my best friend... So shout out to him, Robbie Bonanno in medical school now, came to me with this opportunity and actually introduced me to Jason. Um, I saw Jason, and Jason at the time was, was working, and he told me that, you know, I'm going to quit my job, and this is what I'm going to be doing in a few months, and I kind of laughed it off, E.T. I not really know what, what I was doing with myself at the time, but I saw Jason take his business from making no money to driving a BMW, and it just absolutely lit a fire under me. And the culture that we've created here is just amazing. Honestly, I can't even take too much credit for what's happening, why I'm diving, because it's all contributed to my team and what they're doing, man. Great job. I like that word, culture. You guys are, and that's it. You know, when you change the culture, culture is legacy. Like, it, it's constant. You know, it's long term. It's not, you know, a get quick, uh, rich scheme. And thank you so much for your time. Look, thanks for your energy. Keep doing what you're doing. Jeff, real quick, man, we got to get out of here. Make the rest of your life the best of your life. You cannot be a spectator and be angry. If you're not happy with your, the, the, the hand that was dealt to you, you don't need another hand. You just need to play this one better, all right? So lace up those shoes, put on that jersey, get out there and play. Why? Because you cannot win the game if you're not in the game. Once again, it's your boy, E.T. This is another edition of YPR. I'll see you the next time.